Syrian army is responding to take over over northern city by Turkish backed armed groups. Our correspondent Nashwan Abdullah explains the offensive by air and ground is an attempt to prevent armed militias from positioning themselves within the city limits. He gives us the following report. The Syrian army launched more than 40 airstrikes against extremist groups in Jisr al shughur They also managed to re-establish contact with their army units fighting in the city. The air raids succeeded in forcing the militias to retreat from many points in the city. Many analysts see this battle as a means to exert pressure against the Syrian government. All the signs indicate that there is an international approval to solve the Syrian conflict in a political way and throughout a Syrian-Syrian dialogue. This situation is uncomfortable to the U.S. Zionist alliance in the region, so they are working to destabilize the situation in the north and the south of Syria. The majority of the Syrian people see the ongoing Western aid to extremist groups as very dangerous threat to the country. They are hoping the Syrian army will re-establish control of the northern and southern strategic points. I wonder why they hate us that much. I mean, Erdogan and his government. But God willing, we will be victorious in the wisdom of our leadership and the sacrifices of our army. Over the weekend, tension increased on the southern borders with Israel, especially after a Syrian army rocket storage in Al Qalamon Mountains was bombed. Israel denied its connection with the airstrikes, but the people of Syria believe they are to blame with the attack. Nashwan Abdullah, Telesur, Damascus, Syria.